Coming up on Network Africa. President Yahya Jammeh is still under pressure to step down as West African leaders urge him to hand over power. Plus, Kenya's Labour Relations Court declares the doctor strike in the country illegal. And Algerian authorities crack down on hundreds of Afghan immigrants living illegally in the country. Welcome to the program. I am BC Adebayo. The Gambia security forces have taken over the headquarters of the Electoral Commission following disputed elections. The chairman, Liu Momorunjai, says that security forces were stopping staff from leaving. Meanwhile, Nigeria's president, Mohamed Dubari, and his Ghanaian counterpart, John Mahama, are in the Gambia ahead of discussions with President Yahya Jame about stepping down. The Liberian leader, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, Sierra Leone's Ernest Baik Roma are expected to join the meeting in Gambia. Meanwhile, the president of the West African States Group, Marcel de Souza, says military intervention will be considered in the Gambia if President Jami does not step down. The United Nations Security Council has called on Gambia's long-ruling leader, Yahya Jame, to hand over power following elections earlier this month. This comes as Liberia's President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf leads a delegation of West African heads of state to Gambia to tell Jamey to accept his election defeat and step down. Following a meeting of the Security Council, the Spanish Deputy Ambassador summarized the meeting and called on Jamey to meet with the delegation. They renewed the request to outgoing President Jamey to respect the choice of the sovereign people of the Gambia and to transfer without condition and undue delay power to the president-elect, Mr. Adama Paro. We are talking about uh, president of Nigeria, president of Sierra Leone, uh, former president of Ghana. I mean, uh, it, this is a really high-level delegation from the region. Uh, there is no reason why the president uh, shouldn't, uh, shouldn't uh, receive them and talk to them. President-elect Adama Barrow says he hopes Johnson Sirleaf's delegation will ensure an expedited transitional period that paved the way for a transfer of power. Jamey seized power in a coup in 1994 when he was an army lieutenant and has ruled ever since, winning four elections that were criticized by rights monitors and surviving several coup attempts. International human rights groups accuse him of widespread violations and repression. The United States, European Union, African Union, United Nations and ECOWAS have all pressed Jamey to respect the result. Jamey had quickly conceded defeat to his challenger Adama Barrow in the December 1 presidential election, but in a turnaround that drew international condemnation, he then said he will challenge the result in the Supreme Court. The election, which appeared to end Jamey's authoritarian 22-year rule, was widely seen as a chance to end repression in a country seen by many as a police state. Joining us now to discuss the issue in the Gambia is career diplomat Ambassador Dakwa Fafora. Thank you for joining us on Network Africa. Now, the Gambia security forces have taken over the headquarters of the Electoral Commission. What effect is this likely to have on this situation? Hello? Hello? Ambassador Fafara, you're on. We're just asking that what effect is the security forces taking over the Electoral Commission? What effect is it likely to have on this political crisis? Well, it's, uh, until recently, it's been quite a common phenomenon in Africa that when politicians lose elections, they reject the result of those elections. Uh, so what happened in Gambia is a good example of the lack of commitment of most African leaders 
uh, to true democracy. But we must also not forget that in Ghana, the former president he readily considered defeat. So one could say that we are beginning to make some progress. And even here in Nigeria, when President Jonathan was defeated, he quite readily considered a defeat. So uh, on the whole, we seem to be making progress. And I, I, I do not see Jamey being able uh, to sustain his rejection of election. The whole of the international community is certainly in support of Barrow. And uh, all kinds of pressure, diplomatic, economic, political, will be brought to bear on him to concede defeat. Now, just like you mentioned, President Jame initially conceded defeat. But what do you think could have led to the change of mind? Well, you know, he was in power for about 20 years, over 20 years, 22 years. And when you've been in power for so long, naturally, it's very difficult to seek power. And uh, he probably thought of the consequences of seeking power that uh, is his tenure in government may be probed. He must have done a few things wrong. There are reports of high-level corruption in the Gambian government. So he must have had to rethink about the consequences to himself of uh, putting power. Now, with the security forces taking over the Electoral Commission, do you think this is likely to have any impact whatsoever? Are we going to see fresh elections like uh, Jame has called for? I think it's unlikely that, uh, that the Electoral Commission will uh, get into fresh elections. After all, that commission was, was constituted by the former president. And there are reports also that he's been trying to reconstitute the Supreme uh, Court of, of the Gambia so that if the matter is taken to court, he might win. But I think these are merely political gimmicks. The game is up. He has absolutely no chance, in my own judgment, of retaining power. He's out. Well, if you think he has no chances, I mean, what do you think about the visit of some of the, uh, the leaders of ECOWAS? Do you think it's likely to have any impact? Oh, yes, certainly. Well, ECOWAS uh, 